Hey, I'm at Catalyst Studios. Today I'm going to do an analog mix on this wonderful MTA 980 and a lot of the exciting uh, hardware that lines the sides of the studio. Uh, so um, yeah, let's get to work on it. So first things first, I'm gonna tell you about the desk layout. Uh, as with all my mixes, I tend to work in the same way. So I've got um, all the shell close mics in this section here, you can probably see them. Uh, I've got um, the metal all grouped to seven and eight. I've got my bass amp uh, here. I've got acoustic guitars, electric guitars, a vocal lead, which is going back out to uh, the computer, to Pro Tools, which is being re-recorded and sent out of here. So I can do my vocal rides. I've got some backing vocals. And then over here, I've got my returns for the, um, uh, sand effects which are on auxiliaries and I've got all my groups over here. Master Bus is going through a Tegla cream. Um, I've kind of preset all of the uh, all of the the compressors that I want to use so these are labeled here so there's a uh, vocal ride is going back through uh, an 1176 style compressor. Um, vocal, uh, the master bus is going through a Tegla creme or cream. Uh, the shells are going through a 33609J, which is a Neve compressor. Metal is going through an Amec Pure Path, um, very desirable, cool thing. Rupert Neve designed. Bass LA2A, uh, and everything else is going through nothing. The snare is going through a BSS, I think, at the moment, a four channel BSS compressor. So, um, what I normally do is start off by doing high pass filtering, but there isn't a sweepable high pass on this, so we're just going to go through each of the tracks and just make sure uh, anything that needs high passing is high passed. So, kick. It's a 50 hertz high pass, so I'm gonna do it for the snares, I think. Do the toms need high passing? There's only one tom played on this track. Let's check it. <laughs> there we go. Um, it should be going to this group. I don't think it needs high passing. All my metal is grouped together, so it's kind of preset levels in the computer. Um, and that's all my overheads and the samples and the room samples and the room sound, the mics and such like. Uh, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna approach this in a way where the, the overheads are just like sparkle. So I'm gonna take a lot of the low end out. Around 300. Might add a bit in. I'll probably do that on the AMEC Pure Path. Bass amp. Guitars probably need high passing, so. Now, of course, we know that the low E on an acoustic guitar is 84, or is it 74? Somewhere around there. Uh, so we're not gonna need anything below that. So you can see how much it cleans up. Um, electric guitars. Uh, where are my electric guitars going? Do I have any electric guitar in this section? No. Same thing. I usually go harmonically one octave down, so it would be around 30 mark. These are 50 hertz high pass filters, so I'm gonna just use those, I think.
a little bit of EQ on the EQ there. Um. Okay, that's the solo, and we've got some other guitars going on. And the vocal. Nice, you got style. Shouldn't be much under about 200 on the vocal, so we're gonna clean that up. Time for the lines it is throwing, but the game's not over yet. Tall heels, Gucci dress, looking at her very best. He had to stop and whisper to her. To okay, that's cool. And we want a bit of backing vocals. So if I grab the backing vocals. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, and we want the whispers. Let's check the whispers. Okay, so we've got some whispers, and they need to be really high pass filtered. Not that they're not already, but let's poke out around 4K. Cool. Okay, so that's my high passing done. Uh, um, now I'm gonna uh, do a rough vocal ride and print that back into the computer. So. I go back here and I get some guitars up, a little bit of bass, a bit of everything and just do a rough vocal ride. We're going into uh, 1176 on 8. A million sets of eyes are on her and she knows it. Oh, it might come as a surprise. She got skeletons in her closet, but nobody needs to know. Whiskey straight with eyes, she got style and he knows it. Oh, but she hasn't got the time for the lines that of greed a real high class bitch for sure tall heels Gucci dress looking at her very best he had to stop and whisper to her stop and whisper to her he had to stop and whisper to her don't be a 
was vocal riding and everything was moving within like three or four millimeters um, because it was pretty consistent vocal um. so now that's printed it's going to come out of this track and it's going to go through the um, 1176 style compressor um, and uh, we, we know that's kind of safe and sitting in our mix so the next thing I want to start doing is building the rough uh, balance of the drums so I'm going to do that with a little bit of bass and a little bit of vocal in the background. So the next thing I need to do is address the snare, which uh, I've got a compressor on the snare, so I just want it to be kind of spanky. Uh, so I'm going to pull down some of the transients and let the, the body of it ring out. So how do I do that? I'm going to solo the snare out and tweak. Here it is without engaging the compressor. And there it is with level matches compressor. Because I've got um, a sample snare as well, I can really make the real snare kind of spank uh, and not have that much headroom in it. Uh, and it gives it a sort of a, the impression that it's been played louder than it has and more consistently. So. <clears throat> the um, desk EQ to try and get a bit more body out of the snare so that's a 200 Hertz or thereabouts
So I'm just going to work out whether that tom fits in nicely, which hopefully it will. And I want to remove a load of 500. Right, so, uh, next, let's address bass. Bass is going through an LA-2A, um, or Clark Technic version of that, uh, which is quite nice, actually. Um, so, Let's have a, a listen to bass on its own. There's a DI and a bass amp. Lots of different ways of dealing with this, but I've decided just to combine them. I'm just going to check the phase on them. So now we're going to move on to the acoustic guitars. Not much to do on these because they're kind of fairly well balanced. Sounds good to me. Electric guitars. So one of the things that I'm thinking about this is that, first of all, we need a little bit more punch on the uh, the shells, so I'm gonna engage that 33609, and we want a little bit more mellowness on the metal. So I'm gonna go and fix that up. Engage the 33609. There's a really great feature on the AMEC Pure Path called Sheen. And I'm gonna try and engage that.
the next thing to do is start to add the effects. And with this being a super quick mix, I've just set up three uh, auxiliary sends, uh, a PCM91 with a, a long haul, uh, a PCM81 with a, a room, a tiled room, I think, and a, the SPX990 with a delay, like a slap back delay kind of vibe. So uh, let's just put a little bit on the vocal just to kind of extend the length of the vocal and uh, even out the, 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 the sections where we're, we're essentially looking at the envelope and we're kind of raising the tail in comparison to the, the body. When my is surprised, she got skeletons in the closet, but nobody needs to know. Whiskey straight with ice, she got style and he knows it, oh but she hasn't got that time. And it just needs to be just that much. It is throwing, but the game's not over yet. Now we're going to use a little bit of the room reverb on the snare. Okay, so just a tiny amount uh, back here. A million sets of eyes are on her and she knows it. Oh, Cool, so it's quite a dry mix, um, just a tiny, tiny bit of uh, hall reverb on the vocal and a little bit of room reverb on the snare to give it a bit more uh, oomph. I'm actually doing that on the snare sample, not the main snare track, because we don't want all the mess from the hi-hat spill and all that kind of stuff leaking in. Now, um, we've just got a bit of delay to add, so I'm going to add a little bit of delay to the vocal and a little bit of delay to the guitar solo, and then I think we'll be pretty much done. Hey, when you go away, 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 she got everything she needs, still wants a little more, oh yeah, the definition of greed, a real high class bitch for sure. Tall heels, Gucci dress, looking at her very best. He had to stop and whisper to her. He had to stop and whisper to her. Don't be a stranger, hey, when you go away. I suppose we should finally talk about how hard I'm pushing the master bus compressor. Uh, we're going through the Tegla um, and it's kind of got a bit of a, an EQ on the way in and then an SSL bus compressor kind of vibe. Um, so I'll show you what's happening to that when we play through the mix. Now obviously you could spend a lot longer doing a mix um, than this but uh, this gives you the idea of the sort of things that I'm doing on a desk and how similar they are they how similar they are to the sort of things I'm doing when I mix in the box. So let's have a listen. A million sets 